This is Mac OS Ken. Tracking grows for Apple in India. More news around Apple's child protection push. And would you give your blood for a song? It's not as creepy as it sounds. It is Wednesday, the 11th of August, 2021. I'm Ken Ray, and this is news from Mac OS Ken. Brought to you by yours truly and sponsored by Ladder. Smart, dynamic term life insurance. Learn more at ladderlife.com slash macOSCan. This show is also sponsored by Notion, one workspace for your whole team and the teams you want your team to be. I mentioned before how big companies like Square, Pixar, and IBM have turned to Notion to save time, get more done, and make work easier for their teams. Well, here's another neat thing. The millions of people using Notion have created and shared tons of templates and tutorials, giving you a leg up on what you need to do. Notion is the one place where every team from engineering to sales can work together seamlessly, and with 500 integrated apps, probably already works the way you do. See what Notion can do for your team. Notion is currently running a special offer to listeners of the show. Go to notion.so and use promo code macOSCAN to get $250 off its annual team plan. That's multiple months free for your growing team. Don't forget, that's notion.so. Enter promo code macOSCAN during checkout. Get collaborating with $250 off at Notion.so and use promo code macOSCAN. iPhone appears to be doing right by Apple in India. Apple Insider highlights a report from India's Economic Times that says Apple's answer to telephony could drive the company's revenue on the subcontinent to three billion dollars by the end of next month. According to analysts at Cyber Media Research, Apple should hit the roughly $3 billion in revenue mark by the end of its fiscal year. That would be a year-over-year increase of about 60%, soundly beating the previous year's growth of 29%. Remember on last month's earnings call when Apple CEO Tim Cook said he was happy with the full range of phones Apple has on offer? This report supports that. Cybermedia Research credits demand for iPhone 11, iPhone 12, iPhone XR, and iPhone SE as being the impetus behind the growth. And some don't see that slowing. The Apple Insider piece argues that incentives offered by the Indian government should see Apple suppliers like Foxconn and Wistron building more iPhones in India, which would lower the price of iPhones in India likely leading to more iPhone sales in India, leading to more revenue for Apple. The drip, drip, drip of information around Apple's expanded protection for children plans has dripped another drop. iMore says the Cupertino company has confirmed that it will be running checks for child sexual abuse material, or CSAM, on photos that are already in iCloud, not just photos being uploaded Henceforth, during media briefings aimed at clarifying how the new CSAM system works, says iMore, Apple confirmed that any photo already in iCloud will be checked against known CSAM hashes over time, although it isn't clear how long that time will be. Drip, drip, drip. Work continues on the next big round of software updates for Apple. A number of sites, including iDownload Blog, ran reports Tuesday saying that the fifth betas of iOS 15, iPadOS 15, and tvOS 15 were out to dev types. No word yet on updates for the public beta testers. While spelunking in code for future features may be folly, it is fun when folks find stuff. Apple Insider says code strings discovered in the latest iOS 15 beta release provide details for an upcoming feature 
that'll integrate AirPods Pro and AirPods Max into Apple's Find My network for the first time. Indications in the piece are that the high-end headphones and high-end stoppers will show up in the Find My app, just like iPhones, AirTags, and other compatible devices. Apple and Corellium may not have settled their differences, but they have settled their lawsuit. Corellium basically creates virtual ARM devices, including iPhones, that can run on regular computers. They're marketed to security researchers, according to various reports. A piece from the Washington Post says Apple had sued Corellium for copyright violation and violation of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Apple's lawyers also said that Corellium's products were being sold to government agencies that could have used the software to find flaws in Apple software. The two companies were supposed to meet in court next Monday, the 16th of August. Now they won't, though why and who got what is unclear. The terms of the settlement were confidential, according to the Post, though an email from the Corellium sales team confirmed the company was still selling its virtual iOS devices. Here's a good news story that we kind of wish wasn't happening because how did this not happen 10 or 20 years ago? The decades-old organization Green America says it's gotten together with Dell, HP, and Apple to launch a new worker safety program called Toward Zero Exposure. According to Green America, these companies have pledged to accelerate existing efforts in chemical safety and boost awareness of the need to improve chemical management practices across the global electronics manufacturing industry to eliminate workers' exposure to hazardous chemicals. The site says the companies call on each link in the supply chain to prioritize the elimination or substitution of priority chemicals with safer alternatives and continue to protect workers until that is achieved. Collect data on the process chemicals used in manufacturing electronic products. Advance worker engagement and participation as an essential element of a best-in-class safety culture for managing process chemicals. Reach deeper into the overlapping and complex electronic supply chain to reduce worker exposure to hazardous chemicals and verify and report to ensure progress toward implementing the commitments to strengthen accountability to workers, the public, and other stakeholders. See what I mean? It's really good that this is being done. Might have been a better thing to have happen in the 90s, but hey, it's happening now, so groovy. You can learn more about the program at Toward Zero Exposure. Dot org. More news in a moment, but first a word from Ladder, Smart Dynamic Term Life Insurance. We talked earlier this week about disruptors, the good kind like streaming media, the internet, and Ladder. They're disrupting life insurance by taking the whole process online. You don't have to go anywhere to get started. In fact, when you apply for $3 million or less in coverage, everything happens online. No doctors, no needles, and no paperwork. Also, no upsell. The traditional model would have you going through all that trouble, then getting call after call after call from agents trying to bundle your life insurance with other stuff you may not want or need. You're going to ladder for life insurance. You're getting life insurance, not sales pitch after sales pitch and so on. If you're between the ages of 20 and 60, need coverage, and want to team up with a company that is redeeming life insurance, choose ladder. Go to ladderlife.com slash macOSCan today to see if you're instantly approved. That's L-A-D-D-E-R ladderlife.com slash macOSCan ladderlife.com slash macOSCan The Apple TV Plus film Sharper has added another star. 
iDownload blog highlights a deadline report that says Brianna Middleton has joined the cast in a leading role. According to Deadline, the film follows a con artist in the world of Manhattan's billionaire Echelon. Despite being listed as a lead, Middleton is not the con artist in question. The film actually has four leads, according to iDownload blog. Middleton, not the con artist. Justice Smith, not the con artist. Sebastian Stan, not the con artist. And Julianne Moore, who does play the con artist. The film is part of the production deal set up between Apple and A24. IMDb lists the film as being in pre-production with no indication as to a release date. Add another big name to the biggest production yet for Apple TV+. I Download blog highlights a variety report that says John Lithgow has joined the cast of the Martin Scorsese film Killers of the Flower Moon. Deadline has described that film for us in the past, saying, set in 1920s Oklahoma, the film and the book on which it's based examine the serial murder of members of the oil-wealthy Osage Nation, a string of brutal crimes that came to be known as the Reign of Terror. The first quarter of that book is really good. It's also really depressing, which is why I only got through the first quarter of that book. As for the casting, this is starting to feel a bit like Scorsese's 2004 film, The Aviator. That's partly because Leonardo DiCaprio is one of the leads, and partly because almost everybody else in the film is somebody you will recognize. In addition to DiCaprio and Lithgow, other players of note include Robert De Niro, Lily Gladstone, Jesse Plemons, and Brendan Fraser. IMDb lists this film as in production... No word of a premiere date for Killers of the Flower Moon. And finally today, another tale of Apple products as medical incentive. I told you Tuesday of the Washington, D.C. plan to give young people AirPods to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Now a piece from Mac Rumors says the American Red Cross is trading four months of Apple Music for your blood. Or, put more pleasantly... American Red Cross is offering special deals for people who donate blood between the 1st and 31st of August of this year. It includes four months of free Apple Music and the chance to win a VIP journey to the sold-out Bonnaroo Music and Arts Festival in Manchester, Tennessee. It's kind of weird if you ask me. An organization concerned with health and well-being giving away tickets to an event that'll see a bunch of strangers bunched up together and... Hashtag these times in which we live. Then again, it's only four tickets. It's not like they're sending a thousand people to an event with thousands of people. Also, it's outdoors, so... Cool. As for the Apple Music offer, the four months free is for new subscribers only. More info on all of it is available at redcrossblood.org. Coming up in a few minutes, some people say Apple needs to open the App Store to third-party payment systems. What does Mac Voices host Chuck Joyner say? Find out in a few minutes. Look for and listen to that show on macOSken.com or wherever you get podcasts. Mac OS Ken, brought to you by me, and sponsored by Notion, one workspace for your whole team. Get collaborating with $250 off at Notion.so and use promo code MACOSCAP. This show is also sponsored by Ladder, smart, dynamic term life insurance. Learn more at ladderlife.com slash MACOSCAN. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media, online at backbeatmedia.com. You can reach me a couple of ways. Info at macOSCan.com or call 716-780-4080. Until next time, that is news from macOSCan. 
I'm Ken Ray. Ciao.